Okay everybody, welcome back to Optic Nerve and this episode is going to be some quick and easy hints and tips really that uh, you may find useful if you're experiencing sight loss. So the first one is about writing a letter. So obviously there might still be instances where you need to hand write something so if you've just got a, a blank sheet of paper and you're worried about separating the lines so you're not merging the the letters and sentences what i do is i just place my index finger uh, near the top of the paper and put the pen next to it so if i just write hello my name is Chris and then move the finger down just a little and then you can write the next sentence and I will put I am 47 years old then you could move it down and so on and so on and so on so that will help you get some spacing because without that you could be writing so, so that's a fake sentence and then you could be there again and things can just become too random and it could be a mess so just using your index finger to give yourself a new start should help you space things out okay failing that you can actually purchase one of these and it's A4 sized and you open the top and it's got this series of elastic bands here and there's a couple of guides along the edge to help you line it up so you line it up close the top and then what you have here now is the elastic bands to help guide the nib of the pen so this is a lot easier and you can just really get to writing hello my name is Chris and then you know that the next elastic band is where you will write the next line I'm 47 years Hold my son is called Charlie. So obviously you would write what you needed to write. Open the template and it will help you space things. So practice practice makes perfect. But that's two, two ways of writing, handwriting, a letter when you can't see what you're doing. And another quick and easy helpful tip involves uh, elastic bands that you find uh, at most stationery stores. Most people have elastic bands knocking around the house and these come in really handy. For instance, you've got this pen here now if you knew that this was black ink and you had another pen that someone had told you was blue ink you prefer using black ink or you need the black ink to fill in a form that specifies black ink you just get the rubber band and wrap it around so I know now if there was two pens there one's black one's blue I know that the one with the rubber band is black and that little hint can be used 
for many different things, uh, utensils, it's very handy for toothbrushes if you've got a, a family and you've got different toothbrushes all in the in the glass in the bathroom obviously <clears throat> it's not very hygienic to be using somebody else's toothbrush so what you do is your toothbrush rubber band same way around the handle of your toothbrush and then you know that if you lift one out and it hasn't got the, the rubber band on it's not yours put it back Ugh, yuck so uh, two quick and easy tips there to help you uh, be more independent, independent and carry on with your daily life so that's it everybody thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I'll catch you next time bye